In several videos, I have been critical of Apple for this one lagging piece of technology. Well, Apple's going to change it, and if you have an iPhone, it's going to be a game changer for you. What's up, guys? If you're new here, my name is Nate, and I bring you quick daily tech news. If that's what you're looking for, please subscribe to this channel. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Well, huge news dropped again recently. I even talked about it, uh, teased it, if you will, in another video, but we didn't get a chance to break it down, so I wanna make sure we get a shot to break it down today, and that news is this. New leaks suggest that Apple's new Siri with generative AI will be announced at this year's WWDC. Some trusted sources have shared this news and so I feel comfortable sharing it with you today uh, because I'm confident that it's trusted source. Uh, firstly, my complaint has been, for those of you that have been on the channel long enough to hear me complain about this, that the way that the advanced AI has trained us and raised our expectations um, has affected the way that we use current technology like Siri. And when you use Siri on your normal everyday cell phone, your normal iPhone, um, Siri is not exactly something to write home about anymore. It may have felt really cool back in the day, but it's no longer living up to the expectations set by ChatGPT, uh, voice assistants, AI voice assistants, so many other uh, uh, pieces of AI technology that are exploding right now. Um, it's just not living up to the expectation anymore. And that le puts us in a weird spot as Apple fanboys, if you're one, if you're one like me, at least, um, where I want to use Siri. I want Siri to read articles to me. But I gotta be honest with you, every time I use Siri to read an article, it's painful. I don't love it. So I'm really excited to hear that uh, this news that we were all kind of expecting to happen at some point um, is actually... Uh, it's a rumor, but it's basically official that it is going that way. There have been several rumors that have led up to this one. So it's very exciting uh, to hear that Siri is going to get that generative AI uh, built-in features, built-in capabilities. So let's talk about what it actually entails. In the article, they discussed a few different things. Um, one being, of course, that generative AI is coming to Siri. Two being that conversational information will be retained across devices. So that's really cool. So right now, if you use ChatGPT like I do on your phone and on your computer. Um, same thing with Claude or other ones. Because they're all in the cloud, um, they are maintained across devices. That's really nice. And uh, we would expect nothing less from the Apple ecosystem. If it's going to be an ecosystem, it's got to act like one. And one of the things we love about Apple is the ecosystem. So um, I would expect that to be a, a baseline expectation, but I'm glad to see that that's built in. Uh, so that just means, for those of you that don't use any of those pieces of technology, that if you're talking to Siri about uh, and having a conversation over here on your cell phone, that you would be able to access that iPhone conversation on your Mac or other devices. Um, that's huge. The other big piece is that there's supposed to be some new Apple-specific creational uh, services that will be built in. So I'm assuming that's talking about things like image generation, maybe audio generation or something like that. Um, I don't know for sure what that is, but that's, that's what makes the most sense to me. If you know, cause some of you are geniuses, then comment below what you uh, know it to be. Um, but that's my best guess at this point of what that must mean. Um, and it seems to be in line with all of the multimodal, um, uh, generative AI, programs and softwares that are that are being built right now from ChatGPT to Google, Bard, et cetera, or Google Gemini, excuse me. So um, what does this mean for Apple? And I claimed in the video, and I don't believe that this is uh, uh, clickbait at all. I, I claim that this is groundbreaking and I genuinely believe that. And let me tell you why. I think that uh, Ferret, the LLM that Apple launched, if you haven't seen that, I have a video, I'll put it in the description below, you can watch. But um, when Apple launched Ferret, the LLM, LLM, that seemed like at the time, I think I thought that was the biggest AI advancement Apple had done. But looking back, I'm thinking in terms of impact, right? ChatGPT, its impact is its LLM. However, Siri's impact is who the conversational agent is you're talking to. In other words, if Apple were to use a different large language model to on the back end of Siri, that wouldn't really change uh, it would change our experience in nuanced ways, but as far as the user is concerned and the everyday person, 
they're grabbing their phone and they're asking Siri a question and they're getting a generative AI, um, a highly advanced artificial intelligence response. Um, and as far as they're concerned, they don't know or care which LLM backed that, right? So in walking back from what I said earlier in a previous video, I'm now thinking actually Siri is the biggest, most groundbreaking advancement that, that, uh, that Apple could do because it gives you that built-in relationship, that chatbot chat conversation that you can have across any different type of device. You'd be able to have all of those multimodal AI built-in uh, functions across any of Apple's devices, similar to the way that we use ChatGPT that many people will be using Google Gemini, except it's built into your iPhone, which gives you this additional advantage that all of the people who already own Apple products will be able to just use it. Rather than having to go to a service, Siri's already built in on everything, boom, I got it. I want it, it's there anytime I need it. So if you think about it in terms of how website design has changed to being fewer clicks to the information that the user wants, it's the same kind of feeling there. Rather than me opening the ChatGPT app, um, I already have built-in structures in my mind to ask Siri for things when I want Siri to read me text messages or send text messages, that kind of thing, right? So it would be that kind of experience, which I'm looking forward to. Um, secondly, um, so Siri's gotten uh, a lot smaller over time, let's be honest. Siri has not kept up with the advancements of technology. And so I think, at least in my experience, because I'm using it less and less, it's becoming less a part of my life. So I think this is the window of time that if you change Siri, maybe you still have a lot of people like me who still have some built-in Siri functions in my, in my natural um, second nature, right? Um, and then thirdly, uh, right now, Siri, Siri's reading of text, I've mentioned this several times, reading articles for me, whatever, it's absolutely painful. So if they could uplift Siri on the voice assistant side as well and give it a better voice, um, could be the same person's voice, whatever, but if they could just give it a little uplift, the actual clarity and the diction, um, that would be huge. The enunciation of words, um, <laughs> questions versus statements. I mean, that kind of technology, just build that in and that would be amazing because right now, if you want, in my experience, and please comment if you have some awesome free ones because I'm always looking for ones, but if uh, if you want a, a good AI chatbot to read your text for you, like Speechify or those types of, of AI products, you have to pay for the good ones. That's the reality. If it was built into the iPhone, then you would feel like when I'm paying that premium for that expensive smartphone, I'm getting extra things that I would have to pay for otherwise. I think that's a win. And if you were around when Whisper came out from OpenAI, when OpenAI released Whisper, I was teaching an AI class at the time, and it was like, mind-blowing. So I'm just thinking, man, there the tech is out there. There's no reason why Apple couldn't, if they wanted to, um, build Siri up in its actual conversational sound quality and in all of the um, enunciation, pronunciation, etc. So that's what I think about the generative AI capabilities being brought into Siri. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you're excited about. Um, maybe if there's some things, some other AI apps that you're using that you don't think you need Siri to have these features because you prefer these other ones anyways. Like for example, I like to use Claude for PDFs. I've tried ChatGPT every single time. I've done the plugins when that was new. Um, I, I use even the current ChatGPT Plus right now and I still prefer Claude for talking back and forth about PDFs. That's just my experience. So maybe you have some apps out there that you are a big fan of that you feel like, hey man, if Siri could do that, that'd be awesome. Or if Siri does that, I don't care. I'm not gonna drop this one. This one's just too good. Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to joining you in the conversation. Think different, stay crazy.